Several of you have been asking me to give my thoughts on the latest Firefox 89 update, so here it is. First of all, holy UI changes, Batman. I mean, that's basically what this update is. It's a bunch of user interface changes. Uh, and I don't know if you guys are like me, but generally I don't like UI changes unless I'm the one to change them. And this is no exception. So I'm not really a fan of like the new way that the tabs are done. Um, I'm not really a fan of making this top bar bigger. I know that this is probably the main thing people are complaining about, especially those who have smaller monitors, because, uh, you know, I, I guess I'm kind of fortunate to have like a 27 inch full HD monitor, but yeah, even on something bigger like that, this is still noticeably bigger. Like this is occupying a noticeably larger amount of screen real estate that I don't want it to be occupying. Also, full screen mode is uh, stupid by default now, so it doesn't, automatically hide this top bar, but luckily you can fix that. So F11 is how you enter full screen mode if you didn't know that. Uh, some people might think that I'm using Windows when it's like that, but no, that just changes your buttons up here. Um, so you can just check this box, hide toolbars and boom. Now it's not uh, stupid anymore, but I don't know why they changed that default, um, but whatever. I'm not gonna get super bent out of shape over the aesthetics. The part that I'm probably more annoyed about is this so-called pruning of redundant or less frequently used features from the user interface, which probably really means we're going to dumb things down now in the hopes of making Firefox more user-friendly. But in reality, what happens is the people who actually tweak Firefox, like the people who don't just open up a browser and go to like tiktok.com or whatever normal people use their browser for, they don't go into their settings. They don't They don't even install add-ons a lot of the time. They definitely don't go into about config. So what's the point of changing all that to try to make it easier to use? Those people aren't even accessing those parts. But basically, the people who actually tweak Firefox and go into these menus, they probably already took the time to learn where everything in those context menus are. So now they have to relearn that and the people who, like I said, aren't tweaking anything don't have to learn anything because they weren't even using that to begin with. Um, another thing that is really annoying, this is probably the most annoying thing uh, as part of this update. Let me actually show you guys. Uh, so if we go into settings, general, and we go down to our network settings here, uh, Firefox is now enabling DNS over HTTPS by default. So this has been in Firefox, I think at least for the last few uh, releases, but it was something that you had to set up on your own. Now, there's a lot of problems with this. So first of all, there's much better methods for encrypting DNS traffic. DNS over TLS or DOT is what I would recommend if you really want to encrypt uh, DNS traffic. The whole reason for like, you know, DOH and people wanting to encrypt their DNS traffic is because by default, DNS queries are sent in plain text and people are worried that those, that traffic might be snooped on. So DOH is a solution and unfortunately it's the much more popular solution to supposedly fix that by blending your DNS traffic with normal HTTPS traffic. The problem though is that this doesn't actually keep your ISP or really anybody from being able to track you. It doesn't prevent hackers from being able to track you. And it actually centralizes your DNS traffic to just a few resolvers. And what would you know? Firefox is using Cloudflare as their default uh, DNS resolvers, which is one of the more common ones that are already being out there uh, even before this default crap was implemented. So now here's what that's gonna do. Cloudflare is now gonna be an even bigger target for hackers because now you can redirect the traffic of everybody who's using default Firefox. And I think Chrome is also doing this uh, by default as well. And this also gives Cloudflare more chances to censor the internet, which they've done several times in the past. Uh, if you didn't know, Cloudflare itself is kind of responsible for maintaining large parts of the internet. They do DNS. They do CDN. You might have noticed uh, that whenever Cloudflare has outages, it actually takes down large portions of the internet. So this just makes power, uh, this makes their power over the internet that much bigger. And there's also issues with DOH from the perspective of sys admins or network admins or anybody who uh, wants to like create network rules for their entire network. Uh, actually, let me just go ahead and turn this off while I'm thinking about it. Uh, there we go. 
But yeah, anyone who wants to create rules for their entire network to like black block ads, uh, trackers and websites, something that you might use a pie hole to do, DOH is gonna screw that up. Like, you know, let's say for example, you have kids and they have iPads or whatever that connect to the internet, but you want to block them from being able to access pornography or other adult materials. You could just block those sites on your entire network. Like anyone who's connected to your LAN, you can get a you know list of 200,000 porn websites and you just won't be able to access them from your LAN. Um, so, you know, you could do that and have a porn free household, but if somebody has uh, DOH enabled, then they can just bypass those filters. So DOH is a real nightmare for a lot of people, but enough about DNS over HTTPS, just make sure you go into general network settings and turn that crap off. Um, so let's start looking at some of the things that got moved. The customize uh, toolbar button up here got moved, but you can still access that by just right clicking and clicking on customize toolbar. So here um, you can sort of move around whatever you need. I'd probably like get rid of pocket. <laughs> I don't really use that. Pocket is kind of garbage. And maybe I'll add the new private window up here because uh, most of the time I'm using Firefox or really the internet in general. I'm in private windows. Uh, so there we go. That looks pretty good to me. The rest of the options up in this hamburger menu here appear to be the same, so no real changes that I noticed there. Um, it, it looks different, obviously, but I, I don't really notice anything taken away. Also, if we go into the settings option, then this pretty much uh, looks to be the same as well. So no crazy changes there. Like even if we just look through it, um, you know, like these pretty much look the same. Um, these prompts, so like they're sort of shrinking them, I guess, and just making them less, uh, I mean, you can just tell from looking at it. That, that probably does, does it more justice than me describing it. Um, yeah, it's mostly user interface changes. So overall, I think that this update is kind of meh. You know, it's whatever. I personally don't like UI changes, but I can see why Mozilla did it. Uh, they want their browser to be sleek and sexy so more people will use it since they have an abysmal position in the browser market sh in the browser market share uh, mozilla is basically these days being kept afloat by google uh, and i guess the only reason google is really doing that is just that they can have some competition around to avoid being called a monopoly you know like if uh if google ever gets called into congress for some more finger wagon they'll just pull mozilla out of their ass and say hey Look at this, we're not a monopoly. There's totally other browsers out there. It's not like, you know, us and Microsoft Edge, which is just a reskin of Chrome, essentially dominate the entire internet. No, what are you talking about? Uh, so yeah, I get why Firefox did this, but um, this thing enabling DNS over HTTPS, that's stupid. Don't do that, bad Mozilla.